finally my SSDC San Diego Comic Con 2020 figures are here. Welcome back to another video with the Mice family, the home of all things geek. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Dambo Demise. What is going on? Now, finally, my SSDC San Diego Comic Con 2020 figures are here. I ordered them from Pop Culture a month ago, so it's taken a month to get overseas to the UK, all the way from Australia to over here. Ordered from Pop Culture before, so I've never had a problem with them until now. I got these ones because they were harder to find in the UK, but my favourite one, the one that I wanted the most, is trashed. And I'm talking box completely smashed up. It is not cool at all. Just take a look at that, guys. In the box, in, it's it's a reasonably thick box. It's okay, I suppose. But if it's being sent overseas, the you should use a bit more padding than this. So I'm not really that impressed. There's a ding on the side of the box. There's no protection whatsoever, as you can see. And my Stan Lee figure, of all figures, my Stan Lee figure is trashed. Not cool. This is the one we're going to be unboxing today and taking a closer look at, unboxing and reviewing Stan Lee. It's from the Iron Man series as well in the movies where he's in his little, look at the cameo there, where he's in his little like robe, very uh, Playboy style, Hugh Hefner style robe, which is awesome. But we'll get into that in a moment. Pop culture, not impressed at all with that. And get this as well guys, I want you to leave it, let me know in the comments below as well messaged them about it and all they said was if the figure's not damaged it doesn't matter <laughs> what do you think personally i obviously i collect my figures and display them out of box so i'm not that fussed but i am annoyed at the same time because obviously they're saying that if you order from them and you're not in australia you have the chance of this happening and if it does happen Tough luck, basically. Tough luck. Um, it's just a shame, it really is, because this figure is obviously Stan Lee. If you're a Marvel fan, you'll understand, because obviously he's left us now. And it's, it's, it means a lot, this figure. It really does. And for it to be damaged, the box be completely damaged, I would like to keep the box not in that condition. But, but hey, without further ado, guys, Let's jump in there, let's take a look, unbox and review Stan Lee from the Iron Man series. San Diego Comic Con 2020, the one and only Stan Lee. So, taking a look at the front of the box, you've got Marvel Studios at the top, Iron Man, Iron Man number one, this is from, I believe, number 656. It's from the Funko Exclusive Summer Convention 2020, limited edition exclusive San Diego Comic Con, which was cancelled this year, only available online due to coronavirus. Stan Lee, there he is, in his little box, looking awesome. The colours are good, it's got the, the movie style colours, his picture on the front as well, the side of the box. Ah, my side of the box is massively smashed in, guys. I don't know if this happened to you. This figure is also available on HMV exclusive, but I didn't want to pay £15.99 or even £20 for it, I believe, which is just a bit too much. I had some points on Pop Culture, which I used to get this one. So I only actually paid for shipping on these figures, which was really cool. Uh, the back of the box, as you can see, it's got like the Iron Man style artwork on the back, the colours, and it's signed. You've got a little Stan Lee signature there as well, which is really nice. It's a printed signature. But that's still a good little feature on there. Uh, in the corner as well, POW. POW Entertainment. That's that's a new thing, I think. I don't think that's on the other ones. 
Power Entertainment. There you go. Bottom stuff, boring stuff on the bottom. And obviously the top of the box, you always have the same the head as well. So let's open him up, guys, and take a closer look. What is that? What he, lo ah, what he looks like out of the box. No point being careful to open this carefully, because even there's even a, a lovely hole for me to put my finger in there and pop it open. I'm still excited, but annoyed at the same time. So, as always, comes in in the protector, the ballista shell. No stand. Male figures don't normally have a stand anyway. Yeet! May as well do exactly the same thing with this box as well. Yeet! See you later, box. And there he is, the figure. Let's have a closer look. There he is, wobbly, bobbling all over the place. Stanley, the man himself. What would we do without him? Who knows? What would have happened without Stan Lee, the Marvel Universe would not be the way it is now. So there he is with his hair slicked back, grey on top and white on the sides which is really cool. His glasses are really good, they're a good feature, gold and red, the tinted red specs that he has that he's renowned for wearing. Uh, the red specs on this though are really dark, the ones that he wears I think are a little bit lighter. His moustache is just great, his little, um, little moustache there, that's really cool. Detail on the jacket is just red with pockets, hand in pocket and one on the side. His shirt's quite nice, that's been painted on and just above that is a little white collar. Back of the figure, not much detail going on there either, just a little bit of hair sculpt at the back. Uh, some sculpting on the jacket, the trousers and the boots. There he is. What do you think, guys? Have you got this figure? Would you have him in your collection? Did you wait in line for hours like I did online to try and get it the day it came out to find it's been smashed to pieces? <laughs> Bitter, maybe, but I don't know. It just puts me off a little bit. I don't know if I'll order from them again, which is a shame because I do like ordering from them. You get figures that you can't really get hold of in the UK. Normally it's a good service, so do let me know guys if you've had any problems with them in the past and did they do anything about it? I'd really like to know. If you want to see more from Demise Family guys, it's very easy. Join us on our epic adventure. Just smash the subscribe button, remember to turn notifications on and never miss a future video. We are so close to 200 subscribers now. I know, 200, which is just crazy. If you are a loyal subscriber guys, thank you so much, and if you're new to the channel, why not check out previous videos of us unboxing, at Comic Cons, toy hunting, reviews, and much more. Stick around guys, because during the week we'll be unboxing and take a look at our other haul of San Diego Comic Con 2020 figures which arrived. We've got the awesome Masters of the Universe Blast Attack, so we'll be unboxing and taking a closer look and reviewing this figure as well. You might not like this one, but I love the Fortnite characters. It's Ripley from Fortnite. Had to buy this one because he's an iconic character. Loved him in the series, and the figure's really cool as well. So, guys, from me, Dambo Demise, be awesome, be geeky, be excellent to each other. See you soon.